I'd like to talk today about the <clears throat> possibility of using yoga postures as a really deep meditational practice. Uh, one of the great windows into non-dual awakening. We traditionally use yoga postures for all kinds of things now in the West, but this is a much more meditational approach than what you may be used to seeing. Uh, in the following sequence, you'll see a series of yoga postures put together all as one flow, moving from one asana to the next, to the next, to the next. The big thing about this is that we synchronize the breath with the actual yoga posture. Uh, starting with a completely full breathing capacity with all three parts, belly, chest, and shoulders full of air, we do forward bends, and in the forward bends we initiate naturally from the base of the belly as we're trying to get the air out of the way. So we bend forward. As we do, we can make a little sound in the back of our throat called ujjayi breath, which is just a kind of a whistling of which is very helpful at coordinating the breath with the posture. We try to make the breath last as long as that part of the posture. So on an exhale, this would go like this. Inhale would go the other way. Initiating from the top of the chest. So we exhale from the bottom of the belly. Initiate the inhale from the top of the chest. <clears throat> this sequence of postures that you'll see here are not something I created. My One of my yoga teachers' father's father came up with these. One of the great names in yoga, uh, Krishnamacharya. This is really his sequence, these two different posture flow sequences we will show. They alternate back between inhales and exhales, forward bends, and extensions up or backward bends. As you see yourself going through these things, some important things to keep in mind. Keep your eyes closed. There's nothing you need to see. These are very simple, straightforward postures. There's nobody else to look at to see how you're doing. This is really feeling what's going on inside your body at this particular time. What sensations are arising? What's your body doing? Where are you in this moving process? Can you do this without being flooded with thoughts? It should be a, be a very meditative approach. Stay within your capacity. Some of these postures, you may find yourself bending your knees instead of being straight. You may find your shoulders not quite the right place. You may find your back not being bent exactly perfectly. That's okay. Whatever was in your capacity, work at that place. We're not trying to win the Yoga Olympics here. We're just trying to make certain that we stay with the breath, get the body moving, eyes closed, breath flowing, being very conscious of what's going on inside, very meditatively. As you do through, go through these, say you decide to hold one particular posture for some time, you can do four, five, six breaths, whatever you want to do, in some of these postures before moving on to the next one. It's another way of working with this. Same rules apply. And always keep sensitive to what your body feels like. Stretching is fine. It's okay. It's very part of doing yoga. Feeling your body stretch more and more. If you feel any pain, and you know the difference yourself, stop immediately. We do not do pain. You know, there's no gain through pain in this. This is be at your level of comfort. If you have any concerns from your physician, something, back operations, shoulder problems, hip problems, wherever they are, honor that. If you have any concerns, go talk to your physician. Make sure that you are okay with doing this. These are not very vigorous postures. They can be done faster and more vigorously. But the rate we're doing them here very meditatively, uh, that should not be a concern. But make sure you're okay with your physician. If you have only 10 minutes a day to do for your meditative non-dual practice off by yourself, this is the 10 minutes you would do as the yoga posture flows. It combines breath awareness, meditative awareness, and you're working your body. 
just something everybody needs to do first thing in the morning and if you can last thing at night. So focus on this practice. It can be a very powerful, um, amazingly powerful even, a window into non-dual awakening. These postures are shown in my book, which is downloadable. You can see them being done here in just a few seconds.